Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, President's Day. Uh, thanks for coming in with Kuya Nation. Um, I'm Kuya Sid. And y'all know <laughs> Pepe and Pilar. But we also have a real, real quick uh, contest right here. I need a name for him. <laughs> and he's drinking a bottle of Fuki. So anyway, I need a contest. Guys, I need a name for him. Coming right back. Gotta make this really quick here. I'm freaking Rose out. We are gonna make La Ing today, real quick. Bicolano dish? Uh, Bicolano dish. dish. Um, so here we have our ingredients. We have Bicolano. Yes. I, I don't have a seeding La Bouillo, so I have red pepper flakes. Okay. Coconut milk, pork, shrimp, jalapeno, Ginger, garlic, uh, onions, and taro, taro leaves. Taro I'm leaves. Having, I'm having some friends over, so I'm making a little bit extra today, a little special. I've got also some, I'm gonna make some, well, really good. I have two fried, two fish here, some, got some tilapia. Plant, and I'm gonna saute this, but put on with a little pork. Mm. And oh. I harvested this, harvested this from my own garden. It's amore pops. And I was bored last night, so I made some ube maha. Ube maha. Ube maha. Man, that's some good stuff, man. Delicious. Okay, so we are going to start off with the lighting. Yep, so we're going to saute this now. So we're gonna... Actually, I'm going to have to get the meat first. Get the meat going here first. Yeah, so I can get the, um, the fat out. And I'll use that for the chicken. Yep, so if you guys don't know what lying is, or this is kind of like geared more for the, uh, the Americans. Lying is like the, the taro leaves with a coconut base. And then it has um, ginger, uh, it's got some shrimp in it and some pork just to get that good fatty uh, taste. Got some onions and garlic. So it's really, really good. Uh, you gotta eat it, to me, you gotta eat it with rice. So, it's, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> lots of rice. <laughs> lots of rice, yeah. So the sabao or the soup, you know, that's what kind of blends these uh, guys together. So it's really good. Another thing too, if you're in the Philippines, you know how sometimes, you know, if you have uh, Balik Bayan that go over there to the Philippines? Man, look at these tilapia, man. When you're in the Philippines, you know, the tilapia are like really small. Of course, they're a lot fresher, I guess you'd say. But the ones here in the States, man, these guys are like dolphin size. So, that always gets me whenever we're in the Philippines and you go to the, the market or Palenque and you see the little uh, tilapia. So, anyway, yeah, Rose is still cooking on the pork here. Get the uh, fat out, or the taba. And uh, get a little bit brown. So we're gonna let her finish that up real quick and then we'll come back and uh, show you the next step. Okay, so we'll see you in just a second. Okay, so we got the uh, the pork in there kind of browned out. Also known as the ba, I guess you'd say. Or ba boy, ba boy, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get two Tagalog on them. Okay, so the next thing that's gonna go in is our sabuyas or our onions. Get that going. And we're cooking on uh, medium heat. The other thing on this dish here is about, Rose tried to calculate it up, it's like $13 uh, for all this stuff. Is that including the fish? No, no, just no. the lying. Just the lying part is about $13. And it, you know, when you see the size of it, you know, it's gonna feed a lot of people. So, so now we got the uh, bao wang or the garlic going in there. This is when the house starts really smelling good. We got the ginger going in. I don't want to put a lot of oil because I know the, uh, the coconut oil will produce some oil. oil. Yeah. yeah, man, I love the smell of Filipino food. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, let me get back uh, while Rose is stirring that up, browning it up. Oh, now she's going to get the, the shrimp in there. Of course, that's been uh, peeled and deveined and 
cleaned up. No heads, no tails. So she's got that going there real quick. Just keep on stirring. Remember medium heat. Anyway, yeah, we got this other guy here. I need a name for him. I need a name. I know it's, we're not satanic or anything. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> Filipino food is, is good to the bone, man. Love it. Good to the bone. Good to the bone. So we have uh, Pepe in the back there dressed in his uh, traditional Philippine uh, attire, uh, with his uh, sombrero. But, uh, yeah. Always got to have that stuff. Anyway, now Rose is going to be cooked, putting in the uh, bago on. <laughs> Not yet. Bugger on. on. I love it. I love bugger on. Man. The one that I like is the spicy one. So they got ones that are sweet. But to me, even though they say spicy, they don't really even have the the bold spicy taste or the sweet too. But I really like it. When she does the regular dish, when she double cooks the bugger on. That's when it's really, 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 really good. So, anyway, we're gonna let this guy cook up here just a little bit more. She's gonna put in that bug on. And this stuff smells so good, it's like the couch from the living room comes in here. <laughs> Pepe even starts asking for food. And, uh, I don't know. Remember, think of his name, think of his name. Oh, I got more, oh, I got more, babe. So now the uh, bugger on goes in. Mm, mm, mm. The only thing I need right now is a jeepney parked in the driveway. I'll be one happy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so we'll be back here in just a second for the next step. Okay, we're ready for the next step. That thing is smelling freaking awesome, man. There goes the coconut milk. Coconut milk. Man. Coconut, also known as buko. Is that Tagalog or Kapapai? Does he have Yeah, buko is Tagalog. Second. Tagalog and Kapapang. Okay, second contest for this one. Buko, is it Kapapangan or Tagalog? <laughs> Y'all are going to be a part of this one too, man. <laughs> so now we got the, uh, yeah, is that two? Same, yeah. I like it creamy. She likes it creamy. So two cans of buko. Buko milk. Or gata. Gata. It's gata. In gata. Fact, it's gata. In... Yeah, screw that one up. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we got it going in. So, we're going to let that cook up. And yeah. Remember, the plate that we're doing now is la ing. Taro root. Still haven't put the jalapeno in there yet. Yeah. But the house smells good. Really good. So we'll be back for the next step. Or how close are you on that? I have close. to let it boil. Okay. So we got to bring this guy here to a boil. We'll get this cooking portion down. I mean, this is probably our second one, right? Second. Three, three, third, three. Oh yeah, we did lumpia. Okay. So anyway, yeah. We'll get this cooking thing down in just a second. So let us get this thing to a boil here and we'll be right back. Okay guys, Rose has got this thing up to a boil. She's put in a little bit more bugle on and she put in a bouillon. She said it was a little too sweet. So yeah, we got this thing up to uh, up to a boil and now she's gonna add in her taro leaves. It wasn't sweet, it was, it was plain, so I had a little salt. Sorry, it was too, too plain so she put a little salt in. Henceforth, that was the bouillon. So now you got these taro leaves, they're dried. And I gotta say, it smell just keeps getting better and better. And we put the, and we put some. Oh yeah, she put the, uh, the red pepper flakes uh, in there. So, you know, the kind you put on the pizza, just a little bit. Because I didn't have the bouillon. Oh, yeah, we didn't have the buyo. We're not in the Philippines where we can go out in the yard and pick our buyo fresh. <laughs> that ain't no joke. Fresh buyo. We're gonna let that taro soak it up. Soak up all that. Um, gata. Gata. 
<laughs> or sabao, which I call everything sabao. If it's a soup, it's a sabao. Yeah. yeah, so it really smells good. Really, really smells good. What's okay. gonna be next? That you're gonna be cooking? I'm just gonna make some fried tilapia. Okay. Yeah, frying the and tilapia. Recook my bagoon. Yeah, and redo the bagoon. So. With pork. Yeah. Yep. Everything's fat. <laughs> my Filipino dish isn't fat. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, when we go get ready to do the um, tilapia, then we're gonna go outside to the, our dirty kitchen and then fry up the tilapia there. So tilapia, that's something else that you like really gotta be really special on because Filipinos love, there's a special way to, to fry the fish. So they like it crunchy on the outside. So anyway, we're gonna wait for the next step and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. That's what that line should look like. Man, that looks beautiful. And it tastes really good too. So of course you're gonna add, you know, more pepper, or, you know, spices to your, you know, to your taste. But uh, that, that looks really, really, really good. It's almost like a, like a spinach uh, type of pear. So that's, that's it. Spinach type texture. And I'm gonna say it is good. It's got a real good round taste. So next up, we're gonna be doing the bug on. Okay, so I gotta go out and set up the dirty kitchen outside for that one. So be right back. Okay, so now we're back. We are outside in the dirty kitchen. So what is the dirty, dirty kitchen? Dirty kitchen is like uh, exactly pretty much what it sounds like, but it's not that dirty. But uh, when you come out here and you start doing, you know, the frying and all that stuff, it's just kind of nicer to do it out here. That way all the grease and the oil doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so now uh, Ate Rose is going to be doing her bug on So, hon, fill us in on your bug on It's just the bottle bug on I'm going to put some pork in it. Mm -hmm. Put some pork in and I'm gonna spice it a little bit more. Okay, red pepper. Oh, 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 I got that. So also, don't forget your pot is on fire. <laughs> so what I usually call this is like some of these Filipinos, they cook on a mode, what I call hell mode, where it is just on fire. So. Anyway, yeah, we're just doing the sauteing. We got yes and the oil. Smells absolutely fantastic. They ought to make a perfume out of this stuff, man. Delicious. Yes, oil. There. And then we got the uh, pork going in. But boy, we're gonna let that cook up. Yeah, so I gotta say, you know, like having a dirty kitchen <clears throat> over here, uh, it, it's really fun. Really, really fun. Um, as you can see, we like doing the old barbecue. So I got the big guy over there, and we got the gas grill here. So. And of course at night, you know, it looks all cool lit up. And we got a little sink, and then all the utensils there. So, like I said, yeah, it's fun. And it's, it's to save the wear and tear on the, uh, the kitchen inside, you definitely gotta have one of these. So, anyway. Still working on Tabat. Why are you calling the pork Tabat? I don't know. It's Bob Boy. I'm Bob Boy. Sorry about that. The pork, the bawang, the sabuyas. Really, really good. And just make sure none of your props uh, get burnt uh, while you're doing this. Trying to be my that, 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 so that would that would be me. That would be me. This cooking is bad to the bone. And cooking Filipino food is bad to the bone. Okay, so now we got the tomatoes going in too. We're gonna soften those guys up. 
Man, it smells like the state fair here. It is absolutely awesome. It is awesome. So she's really stepping into this uh, spicy thing here, these red peppers. That's kind of like a first for Ate Rose. So yep, she's gonna let that cook down there a little bit. And she's gonna get ready for the bug on. Oh yeah, here comes the bug on. There, just put the whole can in there. Awesome. Awesome. So to me, when you when you like cook the bug on again, what for for my taste buds, it takes that uh, fishiness uh, taste off. So uh, that's why when you like cook it twice, man, it's it's even way better to me. So on the bug on, you got like the pink kind, and then you got the brown kind. So I like the brown. So it's really really good. So double cooking it with the. the the onions and the garlic and the oil, throwing in some of the pork and the tomatoes, man, that thing is just gonna be freaking awesome. So, let's, uh, we're gonna let her cook that up and we're gonna come right back to the next step. Okay guys, we're back. We are doing the tilapia now. Uh, getting that really deep fried uh, going on there. And like I said, here in the States, man, these tilapias are huge. They are huge. So yeah, just get that thing in there and deep fry it. Uh, just, again, the smell is just phenomenal. Um, it's a, that's a big dog on pan. I don't know if you guys know that, but uh, yeah, Filipinos like that skin. Really, really, really crunchy. So, yep, look at that. Oh, it just smells and looks awesome. So anyway, we're gonna let this cook up and we'll be right back. Well guys, Rose just pulled off the first tilapia. So let me just give you a shot of this. Man, that thing looks beautiful. Absolutely perfect. So, I think Pepe and myself give that a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, it, it smells fantastic. So, yep, yeah, got the second one going in there. So we're running out of time uh, on this, guys, but um, <clears throat> internet, turn around, hon. Hon, I'm over here. So, <laughs> can't see. Yeah, we can't see. We are lost. So, from Kuya Sid, Pepe, Pilar, and remember, I need a name. I need a name for him. So, we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get this up. Bon appetit. Uh, what do you say? Happy eating. Tarana. Magantana. Magantana. Okay, so we're out of here. This is Kuya Sid, Ate Rose, Pepe, and Pilar, and get a name, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.